Hey everyone, um, today we're doing something a little different, and we're probably going to get a little serious, and I don't mean to get that serious, but I think we're, we're going to end up going to a serious place today, and that serious place is anxiety and depression. Um, it, it should be noted that I, I have trouble with both, um, not not diagnosed levels, but enough enough that I, I tend to end up on certain occasions sitting by myself, not doing anything and, and just kind of you know it's hard to explain. You end up just sitting, not doing anything and you end up you end up in sort of a bad mindset. And the depression and, and anxiety I have is is pretty much over my career. Or, I mean, like, I don't want to sound too negative. My career or lack thereof. Because um, I haven't exactly been all too successful at at being an artist. And that's part of what I'm doing with like trying to do these YouTube videos in addition to the gaming channel and like it starting up a Patreon in a week or two. Um, I want to actually have, I want to actually have my, my ducks in a row before I actually get to, to, to starting the Patreon. But, um, we're, we're going to be talking about depression and yeah, my, my mind state whenever that happens is I usually get to get to thinking about about my my place in life and and how I really want a better place in life and I'm sure everyone thinks about that but for me it it, it gets just really 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 heavy and I try try not to let it get to me and by not letting it get to me um like trying to not let it get to me is is the hardest thing and it's very very hard to put into words um cuz it's so personal it's very hard to put in the words what what getting into a depressive mind space is like and it's it's not triggered by anything there's no the there's no I mean, honestly, when you talk about depression, there really is no, doesn't have to be a source of it. But for me, it does come from, it comes from not, not having the success I'd hoped for in life. And I, I do try not to think about it, but I also try to let it motivate me and push me forward. And again, that's why I'm, I'm really trying to push, trying to push like YouTube and trying to push gonna gonna be pushing patreon in a a week or so um and gonna be pushing for commissions soon after that so i'm really gonna try to make something of of what i'm doing here and the piece i decided to do today is based off a concept that it, it's based off a nickname for depression and that is the black dog and the black dog um, I learned about it on I, I learned that that phrase for depression on a website about um, specifically about men who deal with depression and who, who seek advice on it and I saw it referred to as the black dog and for me personally that is a very apt name for the concept and that's what we're gonna base the artwork today off of because in the last couple in the last pe like couple days I've actually been kind of kind of in that mind mind space of incredibly depressed and incredibly anxious basically over everything I'm doing right now and it does it does tend to come with finishing a thing in this case it was a and I, this is going to sound almost a little pathetic but it was in 
it, it was in response to me finishing a Grim Dawn guide. And whenever I finish a major, like, a major, major, major project, I always get really anxious about any sort of response it gets. And I, I get a little bit of anxiety every time I post a video. But when I post, when I, when I posted that recent Grim Dawn guide, I was kind of freaking out over it. Because every single little thing that I thought I could get wrong was just weighing on my mind. And this was all over a video game guide I put on the internet. Um, and yeah, that, that may sound kind of sad and pathetic to some people out there, but that's just what happens whenever, whenever I finish something, I get super anxious over it. And like, I, I had trouble sleeping Sunday night and I, I don't know if it was related to that or if it was related to just my brain, not shutting the hell up. Cause that happens too. But, um, yeah, I just got a very bad night's sleep Sunday and, um, I felt like complete and total crap on Monday. Just absolutely, probably the worst I felt in maybe about three years in terms of existential feelings, in terms of the that sort of uncontrollable, uncontrollable sense of of just anxiety that can happen. And um, it it put me in mind to actually doing this on Monday, but I knew I was not going to be able to basically do anything then. And then actually yesterday, before I, I got to playing Grim Dawn with a friend, I probably hit a very, very low, very, very low point. And I'm actually kind of glad I ended up just shooting a breeze and shitting the breeze, just playing video games yesterday. Um, and I wasn't left with my own thoughts at all. So that's why, like I said, I didn't want to make this super per like make a lot of super personal videos. But I mean, sometimes when you do artwork, you just have to get into it like that. So we're getting into it like that this time. And <laughs> I'm going to apologize to Rottweiler owners cuz Rottweilers, I I I know they get a bad rap for what for for, you know, attack the attacks that happen related to them because it's more the owner than the actual dog itself. But um I'm using Rottweiler references for this, for this picture. And I promise the re like, we'll get to the reason, the reason I'm putting it, putting this so low is because this, this video is actually going to be about, it's kind of going to be about how I also deal with depression and anxiety because Whenever, whenever I do deal with it, I have to, I have to find something to remind myself that it's not the end all be all. Like this existential crisis that happens is not the end all be all of existence. I have to find and latch on to something that I, I've personally created to deal with. To deal with this and we're actually going to get very um stylized in here because i know i know it's kind of cheesy to give the dog evil eyebrows but um but we're, we're going to be doing that So, um, do I want the teeth showing? Do I want it like this? I think we're gonna, we're actually not gonna put the teeth in. So, what? What I've done is, I'm not actually going to feature the character in this one, but I actually have an OC that I draw in my sketchbook. 
that is is essentially a by definition it would be a Mary Sue because it's an author avatar and I actually use that as sort of a this is who I'd want to be rather than and and it's I look at it as who I want to be I want I like I put a lot of a lot of myself in the character but I also put a lot of like what I desire in the character and it's not that character I drew in the first video we're gonna get that out of the way that's a that is another OC but it's not that character I I'm mentioning right now no problem with, <laughs> I want to note artistically speaking the only problem with doing something very dark like that is the re the reflection off the screen is actually throwing me off a little bit Oh, and, and in the beginning of the video, I mentioned diagnose, diagnosing depression, and it's... I think depression is one of those things where... I I said that more to... Almost to appease my own, my own logical brain, because I usually... I usually don't... Um, when people say they have some sort of disease, whether it's physical or mental, and it hasn't been diagnosed, I usually roll my eyes at it like say celiacs or just a gluten a gluten allergy um not actual celiacs i mean like the fake gluten allergies that have been popping up recently um but depression is kind of an exception to that a little bit for me and anxiety because everyone everyone goes through i think everyone will go through it at some point in their lives in some way and whether it's 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 depression on a level where they they have to see a doctor or it's they just hit that point of um existential ennui that just drives them drives them into a dark place i think depression is something that can happen to anyone um but anyways uh back to the oc i just i just wanted to mention that because i i i don't want to um I both don't want to upset anyone out there who's who's more like me where they 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 really would prefer people to not label themselves as like manic depressives or OCD when it's not really that. But um Yeah, anyways, uh moving along from that. Um and I also don't want to piss off the people who are depressed who haven't who haven't actually been diagnosed, but who are depressed, who who do suffer from depression. But who aren't like technically diagnosed it's it's yeah this is one of the this is one of those things where we're actually getting into a debate debate territory i don't want to get into for this video um despite the the nature of what i'm i'm drawing right now and and why but um we're gonna get let's get back to the, to mention this oc because i i tended to put a lot of what i would want to be into that character and the reason for that is because it reminds me that that um, it reminds me that this is what I could be like this is the potential that the that that could be reached and that I should I should really think like how would this character react in this situation rather than moping around moping around alone and being extremely extremely sad about it so yeah, what I do is I tend to I tend to think about what that character would do while you know while dealing with with this this concept while dealing with depression and ex and anxiety, but also um, we're not actually drawing the character in this. We're gonna draw kind of a metaphor for the character that I am actually gonna work into him because I wanna. One of the things I want to do is actually get to telling telling stories about this world I've been designing. And whether it's comics or actual actual written word stories. Um I want to <laughs> I want to tell these stories. It's kind of been the dream of mine to do it through through any medium, through through like anything from art like I could like RPG design or um like sitting down and actually writing a book or or doing a comic. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time and I'm hoping 
that I'll, I'll get to do it sooner rather than later and that maybe getting patreon and or patreon and uh commissions and and stuff like that up and up and running um will will afford me more time to work on that aka i want to sit i want to sit around and draw even if it's draw, drawing for other people work on graphic design even for other people so i can in turn draw more and write more i don't even write for other people it's like it's like i i really do want to have that happen um I really do want to have that happen sooner rather than later. So, um, anyway, the char the the character. There's a lot. There's a lot to him. I'd have to explain. Um, but but to 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 say, <laughs> um, but suffice it to say. <laughs> he, I, I would have him dealing with this as well, and it would lead to his his nickname, which is gonna be the other part of this drawing, because it's related to the black dog. Now I have no idea where this is actually also gonna go look wise. Like I kind of wanted to do, like you know. <laughs> You know those like a line drawing of a very muscular Rottweiler or a pit bull or a, even a bulldog, like a, a heavy stylized like almost muscle drawing of those animals, but humanize it a little bit and not make it specifically one of those dogs because like I mentioned, those dogs are actually quite can actually be quite lovable and nice and and like it's it's entirely it's entirely the owner that that turns them into into vicious vicious dogs it's it's actually quite sad and it's something that at least in michigan it's kind of gotten overblown because i think michigan actually does have a law against against keeping certain types of dogs and it's complete and total bullshit because it's not the it's not the dog's damn fault now this is a, a debate i don't mind bringing up here it's like yeah it's not the dog's fault it's entirely up to the owner to train the dog and it's like if an owner trains a dog to be vicious, then it's the owner's goddamn fault. So you should ban poor training of animals. You should ban dog fighting. I also say this because my 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 brother and his girlfriend, they have a husky, a Siberian husky. That is possibly the gentlest, nicest dog I've ever met. And what dri what what like really drives it home is the fact that the dog Dakota <laughs> is not neutered. So he's he's an unneutered husky, and it's like when they mentioned that to me, it's like I was like, "There's no way that's true," and they're like, "No, it's totally true. He's he's not been fixed." And it's like <laughs> this gentle giant of a dog. This gentle giant of a dog, not fixed, is is it's just like contrary to everything you hear about big dogs, and it's like, yeah, um, that's why I I'm I'm absolutely against those stupid laws that say you can't keep huskies, pit bulls, Rottweilers, because they're quote unquote vicious dogs, and that's why I'm apologizing to Rottweiler owners out there because I have Rottweiler pictures open for drawing us. I mean, I will mention the char the character does dress in all black, for the most part, black and green, and and I'd make one of his his key abilities, insofar as you can call it an ability, would be willpower. It would only partially stem from dealing with mental stresses. And actually, I am really quick going to 
pull up the website that I got the term from just to whore that website out a bit because it's actually a really good site for um, I, ha I hazard using the phrase men's health because men's health magazine's garbage but um, for, for men out there that actually want a, a good website with good information um, I'll share it I think that's where I first heard about Harry's Harry's.com so I think I'm going to count this video as... I did three Grim Dawn videos in in very quick succession today. So I think... I think I'm actually just going to... If I finish this, this video today, um, this art today, I think I'm just going to straight up post the this video regardless of not having anything tomorrow. Because today's Wednesday. So I posted those three Grim Dawn videos on my gaming channel. So I think um, I think that'll count pretty well for for this week in terms of gaming videos. Um, I may not be able to post stuff this weekend too. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw out like five videos and see what happens. I actually have a list. I have a list of things I wanted to draw. Which actually includes, I wanted to do some Grim Dawn fan art on camera. I wanted to do sort of a, a, a secret piece that I, I'm going to record it. I may record it with VA. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to post the video. <laughs> Might be questionable subject matter. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see about that. But um. It's, a, it's something that actually someone requested of me to draw. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I could I could potentially draw that. It depends. Yeah, and there's also going to be a reason why the next figure I'm putting in here is going to be so large compared to the to compared to this. Because if I'm going to be drawing something that's about depression, that is so that is supposed to be something about me dealing with it, I want, compositionally speaking, this to be a small element on this. What's the other thing? Where's my list? It's under my Wacom tablet. Oh, and I wanted to finish Elf Elf. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm sure anyone that was like looking forward to that and suddenly is getting this like heady, <laughs> this like heady, heavy, um, heavy, heady video about me talking about depression. And anxiety. I'm sure they're pretty. They're gonna be pretty. Like, where's Elf felt? Well, yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna get back to it. I promise. I actually want to redraw it because I did continue it a little bit off camera, and um, it was pretty bad. <laughs> In all honesty, um, it wasn't going great. So. Um, so I, I ended up, I ended up just saying, eh, I'll, I'll just redo it my usual, my usual way of drawing it because, um, it wasn't going, it wasn't going great by any means. So yeah, it's, it's just delayed a little bit for...
for upload. I actually started into the Grim Grim Dawn one before doing this, and I was like, I don't, I don't feel like doing this right now. <laughs> sort of one of the problems when you're, when you're an artist, it's it it becomes like a, a battle between. Oh, you have to do this now because it's the current thing you're working on, versus I don't want to do this now. I want to draw something else, and. For me, it's it's almost always the classic battle between you got to do something serious and you got to, and and I, and I want to draw. You know, uh, an attractive elven lady. Um. Yeah, that's that's the usual debate for me. We have to do a weird I want it counterclockwise, a weird rotation on just this. Ugh, that doesn't look right. Cause yeah, I need it like this to be able to draw to actually be able to draw the thing I want to draw. And we're we're gonna take this and we're gonna just move it all on down a little bit. And we will actually duplicate that. Mm, no, we won't. Yeah, this part's actually going to get covered, so I don't really care about making sure that looks smooth. But we'll just give it a quick once over anyways. So for me, the, the metaphor here is maybe a little thin, but the counter for me to, to the black dog would be the black wolf in that, in that when you have the black, like the black dog would be the domesticated, technically weaker technically weaker version of a wolf um, so for me it's it it's kind of that concept but and like I said I'd give the character this nickname to sort of emphasize that and that's sort of what gave me the inspiration for this particular image so we're gonna do a very a very stylized very stylized wolf here and wolves are actually, I mean, you're on a channel called Wolf Overclock. You'd expect me to like wolves. Wolves wolves are a thing I've, I've actually drawn and painted quite a lot. And when I actually get around to posting, um, posting the Patreon, I know I keep talking about it a lot and it's not up, but like I said, I wanted to have all my ducks in a row before I actually do it, which includes some web design and some, uh, 
I had to go get some older images I actually want to use for it. Some of which are going to be just paintings of wolves. Because I've actually just painted straight up wolves. And um, they're, they're one of my favorite animals. If not my favorite animal. And um, I usually don't draw them vicious. So it's kind of a little off-putting in that respect for this. But um, yeah, I, I tend to... And we are actually going... I, mm, I don't actually like that. We're going to have to play with it a little bit more, I think. Oh, I do have wolf images open. It's just... Um, I was kind of having to be hoping to have it like very stylized so I'm going to be doing it very loose it's just it's going to take a while to actually get this correct and how I see it in my head I think I need more images of snarls going on Oh look, it's Insanity Wolf. And Courage Wolf. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot Insanity Wolf with the wolf in mid snarl. That's why like the fangs are just gonna be like bright and just bright fangs. Yeah, the mouth is actually a lot shorter when it's fully open, it looks like. Got a little bit of a tongue going on, too. It's also why I'm not going to worry about getting the shading, quote-unquote, correct. Because this is a stylized mind image. <laughs> and I thought about I thought about putting the, the black dog in some sort of pose... But then I stopped with that and I'm like, you know, I actually want it as a We're going to make this straight. Wolves have very narrow snouts. Um, I actually was drawing it just now and I'm like, man, that's kind of boring. Shouldn't I have it in some sort of pose, like either worried or have itself be angry? And then I stopped with that. No, I don't want to give it any more credit than it should have because it's not, it's not the thing I want emphasized here. We'll, uh, we'll see how much I actually get done in this hour, um, too. Yeah, we can, we can take a look at how I'm going to do the composition adjustments. You know, it's kind of funny, um... While we're all recording this, it's like, I can see out of the corner of my eye my record software. So it's like, it's like I actually see like the menu open twice with the slightest bit of lag and it actually kind of, it's kind of a little off-putting. It's also why we're going to give the wolf kind of a... <clears throat> kind of a meaner expression as well. I 
The only thing I wish I could I could actually fit in here were its ears, because that's it's one of the key things that does really, really separate wolves from dogs is the uh the ear really absolutely is a like one of the key things that separates the two animals because wolves have actually round ears hmm. and it's the problem with zooming in on something is giving me all sorts of trouble. It doesn't help that, like, the eye should be way pushed back from where it is, too. <laughs> Ugh, we're gonna have to redo it again. Put it way at the top. Yeah, the eye on a wolf is actually really hard to draw and make look like it's looking at the thing you want it to look at. Because they have they have that like black outline around it I think it's more or less their eyelid and it's like it, it it's kind of makes it difficult to, to draw an eye because they're unlike us it's all color and then black so you can't actually get into um, It's actually a little difficult, I should say, just to get the detail correct on it. And wolves have big triangular faces. That's another thing. So it's like I'm going to put a lot of light right there because even if they're snarling, well, that's not exactly correct. But yeah, even if they're they're in a snarl, they sort of have, um, you can sort of get a, the, the feeling of the triangularness of that shape of their face. Even though I'm probably going to go in with a lot, a lot of black. That's just what this image is going to be about. What this image is going to feature prominently. And I'm going to go in, I'm, I'm going to make this very stylized as I go as well. Almost like, I should probably put, I should probably get reference of it. Their old, their old drawings of wolves as, as sort of the... Wolves as in Big Bad, as in, you know, the evil demon creatures of the forest. And, um, I actually have it in books, so I should maybe consider pulling out some of those books and looking at it. Not like copying the style completely, but using it as a basis to go off of. Because even, even despite like all of the art I've done and all of the like principles I know, I actually, one of my biggest problems is making something that like in my head looks one way and then actually translating that through my hand always been a difficult thing to do 
I'm sure there are a ton of artists that can relate to that. And and actually, a lot of what I create ends up not looking like how I envisioned it in my head. Yeah, and when they're snarling, they only really bear their ins their like incisors. Actually, I think it may have too much mouth open on the wolf, but it's fine. So I hope everyone is actually okay with me putting this video and this artwork out there because I know some people um, might, might, for whatever reason, might, uh, might mock the concept, might mock me for being this open with what I'm talking about or even how I've talked about it but I I feel the need that I have to I have to do this on some level at least for myself um, but even for other people who who suffer from depression who who have to deal with anxiety over whatever 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 stresses whatever um, whatever things that that affect affect your life um, Whoops. Whatever things affect your life, that it's it's something that everyone should know that people out there do care about you and 
and people out there will will help you to deal with those things and it may not it may be family it may not be family it may be friends it may not be friends it may just be random people on the internet it may just be some random guy who's doing his his mediocre artwork on YouTube um, but there there are there are definitely people out there who who do care even if they're total strangers and and will will help will help you with your with whatever um whatever mental stresses you're under um you you can definitely find help from people in out in the world and for me I don't I don't express I'm not very good at expressing my feelings personally which is another reason why I'm very reticent about this 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 video but um but um I'm hope I'm I'm at least hoping that that someone out there did I apparently I dragged brushes out of the brushes palette or out of the palette that it was sitting in yeah that wasn't working for me um. Because there, I, I can't think of anything worse than depression. In all honesty, for a person to, for someone to, to personally go through, I, I can't think of anything worse. Because if it's, like, there, there are certain things where, if it, if, if you have job stress, if you have a death in the family, like, I know those can be triggers for depression, and I know those can be triggers for anxiety. But the anxiety and the depression itself are probably worse than than anything that's that is physically or at least any that it, that is anything like anything that really that pulling the menu out screwed up my train of thought. Um, like dealing with an event in the in, in you know the real world outside of your own mind to me is actually much much more doable and much much more easy to deal with than actually dealing with mental stress and mental fatigue especially if it's related to anxiety and depression it's like phys physical things in the real world like there are there are ways to deal with it in my opinion and and it's like I can't I can't stress enough that while I'm not gonna Man, I'm putting my foot in my mouth with this, probably. But I do think that that depression and, and anxiety are some of the worst things to deal with, if not possibly the worst thing the person to deal with on a personal level. And for me, for me, it's it's in my head. It's a vicious wolf descending upon the concept and about to to chomp down with heavily stylized, borderline demonic teeth. So, yeah, everyone everyone deals with their own mental stresses differently, I guess.
Yeah, and technically, I think the dog should be moved over a little bit. <clears throat> I think that'll be possible. Because you, gen you generally, when you're chomping down on a serious, serious topic and a serious, um, especially a serious topic as it relates to be, as it relates to a person's mental state of mental being, mental state of being, um, you, you want it composed properly. Also, I do, I do approach things with gallows humor. <laughs> Um, like I don't, I don't do it. I don't do it in my videos at all. Well, I do it rarely in my videos, but both in in gaming videos and in and in these videos, I rarely do it. But um, I I absolutely approach things with some of the darkest dark humor you could ever imagine. And it's not for I know it's absolutely not for everyone, which is why I don't do it. Um, which is why I don't I don't actually do it on live a lot, but. Um, yeah, anyone that anyone that knows me personally knows I do love a good dark joke. This is almost one where I wish I could do charcoal. <clears throat> actually, live because actually on camera and, and record a charcoal drawing. Um, I just don't have a. I don't actually have a camera. Well, a good camera. And this actually is going to bring me to a point um, <clears throat> I want to make, both about, and this hasn't actually been an issue, but I do want to bring it up, at least here, um, and this applies to both, both channels I'm I'm currently doing on YouTube, both Wolf Overclocked and Wolf Overclocked Games. Um, I would really prefer it if <laughs> the comments were to stay a relatively safe place for people. Um, whoops regardless of of who they are um it's it's kind of been like an unsung rule that i would eliminate super super negative comments and i've actually only had to do one or two so it's not actually been that bad an issue but i'd like to keep it a non-issue so for this one especially like keep it anyone that comments please keep it civil I mean, not just towards me, just towards anyone that would come in and comment on it. Regardless of what the comment is, I would prefer it to be kept relatively civil. Excuse me while I crack my knuckles on microphone. Probably should move my hands further back for that, but... Um... Can't undo it now. There's no undo button in real life. Um, <clears throat> I'm 
Now this is going to be a little um, Okay, that's not the brush I want. Oh, um, you know what? I don't actually want to do this. Never mind. I don't want to go in the smudging it up. Sometimes, sometimes I do that for, for fur especially. But um, this is, like, this is an actual fur word, so I'm not going to worry about that as much. And this is more going to be a speed paint than anything, which is why I'm not going to... I'm not actually going to probably work on it more than what I'm working on it now. And I've, I've looked into this, um, almost in pa like more than in passing, but not like super super in detail. As why is it that artists are always the one that the ones that seem to have <clears throat> issue like heavy issues with anxiety? Why is it that when you have a muse, when the muses speak to you, they get poetic on it? Does it always seem like it's people who also? have to deal with anxiety and depression it's it's something that i've i've had a passing interest in in looking up and and listening to talks and stuff on it And it does always seem like creative people tend to carry around some sort of mental baggage, regardless of their, regardless of their, um, <laughs> I wanted to say origin story, but yeah, regardless of where they're from, what their walk in life is, what their social background is, it just, it just seems like creative people just end up carrying some sort of weight like that around. I mean, for me, that's a little bit of of just anxiety over, like I mentioned before, career. Um, and and there's a little bit of there. I think there's a little bit of the world isn't the way it is in my head, and or how I I want it to be, and that that sort of weighs on it as well. Because so I I think intelligent people also have that that issue where. They, they heavily have to deal with, like, having doubts about basically everything. Well, I mean, they'll have doubts about things and then other people won't, but those people are generally not as intelligent. <laughs> not to bring that concept in here, but it's that's another one. That's another one that's one of those, like, I think brings a lot of anxiety to a lot of people. Intel like intelligent people do have a lot of doubt. Stupid people are just so certain. I should say ignorant people are so certain in their ignorance.
Yeah, there's actually there'd actually be a little more upper lip on him. Pardon my stretch. It's one of the reasons I really need to get a camera on this. Especially for these videos. I don't, I don't know how many of the gaming videos I actually need them, but um, I do think these videos would definitely benefit from having a camera. Because I'll like a lot of times I'll stop drawing whatever it is I'm working on. I'll just stop. And just sit there. Not really do anything. <laughs> And then pick it up again while I'm talking. And it's like, that that's kind of maybe a little off-putting. I think I'm going to go with this side towards, because yeah, this is how I started with it. So I think I'm going to go with this side as the, this side the way it's facing. Yeah, I also made, I also made sure I was in the, uh, the black background full screen for this one because I knew I'd be doing a lot in, just in grayscale and in black. So I really wanted to have it be, uh, make sure it was actually black black on the background and stuff okay so I think we are going to call it I'm gonna do one last thing as soon as Photoshop throws its little fit here um, we are gonna hit this up as I usually do at the end of a drawing we're just gonna, gonna darken it down darken down the darks just a little bit Lighten up the lights just a little bit. Just to give it a bit of a punch. Let's give it a little more oomph. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. I, I hope... It's, gonna, it's weird to say, I hope you enjoyed this video at the end of this video. But um, I do hope you, you at least gleaned something out of the, the video, the speed paint I did. It's it's really rough, but um, it's kind of what I needed right now, just to do stuff like this. Um, I may work on it more off-camera and post the results, but uh, for now, uh, this will cover doing... A very metaphorical drawing on depression and anxiety. Um, I hope everyone, I, again, I hope everyone enjoyed the video, but um, it's weird to say it. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.